happy Thursday everyone! Can you guys believe we are already approaching not only the end of this week but also the end of the month? I can't believe it! Where is this month going by? Anyways, uh, welcome back to my channel or oh, welcome if you're new here and if you're new I hope you consider subscribing to this channel if you like this video. Um, I make videos all related to Traveler's Notebooks so if you like you know, videos like this that's related to planning. I also do a lot of uh, journaling videos, stationery, and all of the fun stuff. And I would love to see you here for the next one. So for today's video, we are working on a plan with me video. This is for my uh, weekly layout for week 40, which is going to be the last week of September. So if you're new here, just quick explanation. I know sometimes I'm very repetitive. I say that every single video and I feel really bad for my followers, that, especially the ones that have been following me for quite some time. You guys are probably tired of hearing me saying that over and over, but I just wanted to make sure that for the new folks you guys kind of understand what I'm doing here, especially because my plan with me videos are usually the ones that bring in quite a bit of new followers. So if you're new here, just to give you a good idea of what I'm doing. So my uh, weekly layout, what I do, I usually use just one page for each week of the month. And I, I dedicated an inch per day um, for each day of the week. So that way I can write it, my goal, my daily goal. Uh, so as you saw me in the beginning, I was using some mechanical pencil and a ruler and I started from the bottom and worked my way up and I marked one inch per, you know, per day on each side of the page. Then I can draw the lines to separate the days of the week. This is an unusual week because this is the last week of the month. So this month only has three days. Um, you know, Monday through Wednesday, uh, Thursday through Sunday, it is going to be for October. And because I don't, um, I don't mix it up months because I only use one insert per month. Um, I don't like to mix it. So I only put it here, the days that pertains to September. Once I start, you know, setting it up my new insert for the month of October, then I'm going to repeat the week 40 there in my uh, October insert and I'm just going to add it for the first week, the only days that pertains to October. I like to do that because I like my inserts to be very individual when it comes to the month. I don't like to mix it up. I don't like to have anything this insert here that does not pertain to the month of September. Everything here is just for September. Um, if you're not familiar at all with how I set up my Traveler's Notebook, I use this both as my planner as well as my daily journal. So the first few pages of my journal is actually going to be dedicated for my planner. That's where I display my daily goal, my, um, sorry, not my daily goal, my monthly goal, my uh, monthly calendar and my weekly logs. That's where you're seeing me uh, creating right now. And uh, after that, I just go with my daily journal. So everything here is for September. So I don't like to mix nothing that's related to the next month. Hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I do have quite a bit of videos about how I set up my Traveler's Notebook. I'll link it above here on the screen, my playlist. So you can check it out later if you'd like. Um, yeah, I highly suggest if, especially if it, my explanation was quite poor. I'm really sorry. It's just, I, I feel like I say that every single video and I feel really bad. If you guys have been watching my videos all the time, you probably, if you feel like I'm repeating too much, just let me know. Oh, um, you know, mute the video. And, um, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just feel bad because especially I, I kind of try to put myself in in people's shoes and especially if you're new here you might not understand what the heck am i doing especially when they you start watching my videos and the, the first video that you see me doing is this one which it's a weird layout because it's now is the last layout of the month so i'm not even adding here 
the full week i'm just adding three days and i'm decorating the rest completely of the page so it doesn't make any sense i i get it but yeah just so you guys have an idea of what the heck am i doing here but yeah enough explanation uh, let me tell you what I'm doing here in terms of decorations. So for this layout, of course, I decided to go with the autumn theme because, I mean, technically we are in the first official full week of autumn. I know autumn started on the 22nd, but I just felt the last week we still had a few days left um, of summer, so I didn't want to mess it up and uh, go on full autumn. Now I can go on full autumn. Autumn, it's my favorite season. I absolutely love not only the weather, I love how the trees look like, I love the colors. You guys know if you've been here for a while, earthy tones are my favorite colors. You know, brown, green, you know, orange, burned orange, you name it. <laughs> Anything that's earthy tone, I absolutely love. So, any excuse to create a autumn layout I'll, I'll go for it and uh, i've been receiving so many lovely ephemeras you know they're autumn themed either from my subscription boxes that i got it from your creative studio or from cafe analog i also got uh, some uh, gifts uh, from some of my friends for my birthday and they're autumn themed as well so of course i had to use it i mean it's just everything is a screaming autumn and this is the first year of my life that I actually experiencing uh, autumn to the fullest you know um, I never lived I left <laughs> I never lived in a place there's like full seasons I mean I used to live in Phoenix um, actually Tempe Arizona which is the Grand Phoenix area and um, if you guys know anything about Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, I mean, I mean, Arizona is a desert state. I mean, we don't have full seasons. It's just summer and winter, which is not even a real winter. I mean, we don't even get snow. So now that I'm leaving Flagstaff, which is still in Arizona, but it is a different town because we are 7,000 feet above sea level we are a, a mountain town uh, in a ski resort town so we have full season so i'm so excited to be experiencing seeing all the trees turning yellow these beautiful colors popping up everywhere it's just i'm happy <laughs> and it's just it's just so pretty uh, if you live in a place that has full seasons, you know what I'm talking about. I absolutely love. Anyways, to the items that I'm using here. So on my right, I just grabbed some craft paper that I got it from Michael's, from my, you know, personal stash, nothing special there. I'm using two vellums here, um, this yellow with some acorn and this white one with some autumn leaves. Both of them I got it from Your Creative Studio subscription box, which was from September box. I do have an unboxing video, so I'll link it above here on the screen if you want to check it out later, if you haven't had the chance to watch it yet. I got some doily from one of my pen pals, this yellow one, so I added there. Uh, for the stamping that I'm using here, this autumn leaf that I mixed it up with a bunch of different colors. Um, I added three different colors uh, this time. I did stamping before only using two colors, but then I saw a Skylar hand um, on her YouTube channel actually adding three colors. Um, and I thought it was such a great idea, so I had it to kind of, you know, steal her amazing idea and just do it so i thought it was very pretty i'm gonna write it on top of those stampings so i don't care too much it's not a strong color so i can still write it on top of it so if you're wondering why the heck i stamped all over my page there but that's because of it um all the stamping here that i'm using on my right you saw me using um stamping two different papers a craft paper that was gifted to me by one of my pen pals and the vellum um this wood stamp i actually got it from cafe analog from their september subscription box that was also autumn uh, themed 
and it came with this embroidery hoop um, wood stamp beautiful wood stamp so of course I had it to add it so I just did it a placement you know the craft paper first and then the vellum on top um, I did also fussy cut some of this washi tape that came with the box from cafe and a log beautiful washi tape oh my goodness I just love that washi tape so much um, yeah, so I fussy cut some of those. Um, this paper doll that you see me fussy cutting and adding to the right on top of the um, vellum paper, it's also from Cafe Analog. It is from uh, the artist named Pion, but I bought this washi tape from Cafe Analog as well. And uh, what else here? On my left, I used another a paper doll. That one is also from Cafe Analog. <laughs> a lot of things from Cafe Analog. Yes, I love them. I love their shop. It's just so amazing. Uh, this one, it's a collaboration between Cafe Analog and Wendry. Um, and uh, I picked that doll because, you know, look at her, her outfit. Her boots are brown, her clothes are yellow. I mean, it's all autumn all over her. Her hair is brown, so I really thought it fit very well with the whole theme. Uh, besides that, I'm using some washi tapes here. Some of those washies are from my personal collection. They are either from Michael's or some of them are were gifted to me by one of my pen pals, those washi samples. And uh, this orange one with a uh, red grid, it's from Classiki. I got it from Cafe Analog. And those uh, pumpkin stickers is from Hobby Lobby. It was gifted to me by one of my friends. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just writing the dates here. I am going to add it on the title, which week that week pertains to, which is week 40. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this layout. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you grabbed some inspiration from today's video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I always reply to each one of you. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.